What up, guys? My name is Taylor Crom, and as far as I can see, there's not a lot of people out there that use Mixcraft, which is, in my opinion, a very underrated audio DAW. I mean, there's a good amount of people that use it. It's just not an industry standard to use. I think that it is looked at as more of an amateur beginner kind of DAW to use, you know, because you eventually, most people eventually want to make their way up to Pro Tools or Cubase or, you know, things like that. But I use Mixcraft a lot. I've engineered a lot of songs for people through Mixcraft. The best piece of advice I've ever gotten from any engineers that I've talked to, including professional ones, is work with what you're comfortable with. There's no need to switch DAWs just because everyone's like, oh, you know, this is what the pros use. Oh, this is what they use and what you should be using. Um, if you're working with a DAW and you're getting results out of it, don't change. Don't go to a different DAW just, you know, because it's a materialistic standard of what you should be using, you know. It could potentially ruin your craft, um, but, I mean, if you do want to move up DAWs and go, or switch DAWs, then you can definitely learn a new one and get very good at that one as well if you set your mind to it. So, if you want to do that, that's totally fine too. But I'm here for people that are using Mixcraft, especially you beginners, depending on what you're producing. I like to produce a lot of R&B, hip-hop, and trap. Um, and I'm going to show you different plugins through Waves, also through Mixcraft, and different tools that you can use to create beats, how to mix vocals, how to work with delays and reverbs and sends and submix tracks and all that stuff. So if you're trying to get good results through Mixcraft and you can't really find many tutorials out there because it is hard, I tried searching for a lot of tutorials while I was learning Mixcraft in the last 10 years that I've been working with it and there's just not many out there. Even still to this day, there's not a lot of people that really gave me the answers I was looking for when it came to that specific DAW. So I'm going to make videos trying to go in detail about a whole bunch of different ways to make different things work and I hope that these videos can help you. And that's, that's basically all I want to let you guys know. So if you use Mixcraft and you're needing these tutorials, then go ahead and subscribe because I do have a lot of videos coming that will be covering a lot of things. And if you have ideas or any questions that you want to let me know about or ask, then just comment down below. I do respond to pretty much all the comments. I'm not a big YouTuber or anything, so it'd be kind of dickish of me not to. So feel free to comment down below and I will reply to you. And then, um, yeah, hopefully I can help you guys learn. Hopefully I can even learn some new stuff along the way because the more you fiddle around with stuff and tinker with stuff, you might find something new. And that's just kind of how I've learned. I had to learn by trial and error, which has actually been the best way for me to learn a lot of things. So I look forward to it. I hope you guys join me. Leave your comments down below. Any questions you might have, I will answer them. And uh, yeah, I hope these videos can help you. Thanks, guys.